Well, hello there, everyone. So this morning on my way to the job, I was driving down the freeway. I was almost to the scale in Everett. And all of a sudden I heard this loud, like, boom, but it was like kind of metallic. It sounded like aluminum can exploding, if you know what that sounds like. It was just like, boom, ting, something. And I was like, oh my gosh, what just happened? I'm getting loaded, so I had to move up. But anyways, I was going down the freeway, 55 in traffic after that, and I'm trying to feel and see if there's anything like weird going on. The truck seems straight. I don't think it's a tire. And then I was like, what the heck? And I'm watching my gauges and going down the road and I see my air gauge start to plummet and it gets down to like 90 and then uh, starts to come back up. I was like, what is going on? I was like, it must've been an airline and I'm kind of panicking and uh, so I started to get over because obviously like I feel like I'm gonna need to pull over like now Basically when I got over to the right lane, then the air started coming back up. So I was like, well, what is it? What is it? So I decided to keep going down the road and I did get flagged into the scale Which was like another half mile. I just didn't want to pull over on the side of the freeway and when, especially when everybody was actually moving on the freeway at a decent speed so I did get flagged into the scale, which I was going in anyways, because I was gonna go park in there. Um, but I pulled into the scale and as I'm slowing down, I could feel what kind of felt like an uneven tire situation or like a braking situation. I thought maybe, maybe for a second I thought I could have lost a drive tire, but I, it didn't seem like it. I went into the scale and uh, you know, I was empty, so they like green lights all the way and past the scale obviously is truck parking. So I pulled into the truck parking and I shut my truck off so that I could hear an air leak if there was one. And I get under there and I can hear like a weird like humming sound and the drop axle sitting on the ground. And I immediately was like, oh, great. I blew a bag and so I crawl around under there until I find the hole and Bobby was still at work because he's working nights and I called him to let him know what I found, the situation I was in and he's like, what do you want to do? Are you going to go home? And I was like, no, I'm not going home. Okay, so see here, there's no pressure. There's no air in here. That's why the axle's on the ground like that. And then we have that loud noise. Very, very loud noise. Can't hear it. Right here where my finger is, is where the lift bag is blown out. It's right here on top. I did get parts ordered there. It's very loud under here. I did get parts ordered. Um, I just got to swing by Kenworth and pick them up on my way home. And I made it through the day without being able to lift my drop axle. I would actually say that my tires fared pretty well for not being able to lift it up. I did adjust the pressure a little bit but if there is a flat spot on there, it's not bad. Figured while I'm out here showing you things on the truck, I'll use my trusty Eaton Cummins flashlight that's made it riding around in my truck for almost a year now without getting lost. Uh, I did get new cab airbags and they're pretty freaking amazing. I was pretty dang excited about it. Pretty happy about it. Uh, definitely changed. You can, I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah. Uh, both of them are replaced. Bobby did that. Uh, I don't know, a week ago now. Pretty amazing. I love it. 
but it definitely changed the ride of the cab of the truck for sure. It's never been so smooth for me anyway. I thought you guys would want to know about that. Um, obviously, I didn't get it on video or you would have seen it already. Come up with a plan on uh, what to do about the welding on the truck boxes. And it's actually probably the best plan, to be honest, for us. But I was thinking about hiring somebody or taking it to that shop and having it done there so that Bobby wouldn't have to do the work. He does so much for me, for my truck, for our family. I was thinking, you know, we'll send it out uh, for a week or whatever and it'll, you know, we'll pay to have it done and he doesn't have to worry about it. And he did decide in the end that he wanted to learn to do it so that it was something that we could do in-house. And I figured, oh my gosh, we do everything in-house why can't we just have one thing that we send out and again it really does come down to paying people to do things for you is very expensive which we can afford it he just doesn't want to afford it the new plan is to spend the time with a friend we have a friend that does it um learning how to do it and this friend said it was no big deal that he'd be happy to spend the time working on it with Bobby and teaching him and you know I just I'm incredibly grateful to be honest you guys having so many friends with so many great skills that are willing to teach it's amazing I love it and um, I just thought you guys would want to know the update I have gotten a few comments about what are you gonna do about the welding on the trailer and all this stuff so that is the plan and it is gonna get done relatively soon um, we did have or Bobby did fix a major crack that was in the trailer but everything else is it can wait for a little bit here it's not as bad as it could be I suppose but it does need to get fixed we might even just wait until things slow down for the winter and do it then which would probably be a smarter thing to do this is so loud I was trying to back into the driveway and the axle was like skidding across the road and it, I just decided it was time to stop. So here's Bobby bringing me a strap. Is Rem Rem in there? Hi Rem Rem, what's up my dude? Hi. Hi, dude. What's up? Well, I gotta go help dad. It, uh, when it blew out, it felt like something hit the underside of the cab. It was, the impact was so intense. Off on. What's that? Oh, you're gonna get both sides? Okay. It's not lifting the other side.
Okay, I'm strapped, I'm ready to go. Both tires are not touching the ground. Here goes my savior. All right, guys. Well, I am actually going to cut it off here because I do have to get into the house and make some dinner for the kids. And Bobby is going to fix my truck tonight so I can roll tomorrow morning. But thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have not yet, please do subscribe. And if you are interested in Beyond Dirt merch, the link is in the description. And I will see you guys next time.